Yes, we do. We're at the little den and my first introduction with these little cubs. Apparently born to a ribbon, who I thought was a male, but apparently is not because she's produced two babies. And we know that, Brian, males can't do that. No. Only females. But what's interesting here is that I think these cubs are older than I thought they were. And I don't think that this is their first den. You can see the spots already starting to come. They're losing their black coats already. And therefore, I think they must be at least six or seven weeks old. But they've been here for a week or so already. So maybe up to eight weeks old. I find it difficult to believe that they, that age, that small. But they're just a bit spotty. And so I suspect that they were born in that den, not far from here, that Herbert saw the female at just that one time on the banks of the river, and then I think they moved up here. Oh, this is just fantastic stuff. How wonderful to spend time with hyenas again. A very rare privilege, of course, these days. Didn't used to be, it used to be commonplace. No longer. You can maybe just hear them squealing. There we are. Hello, long suffering mother. Now, I don't know where she fits on the hierarchy. Quite interested to know actually. Does anybody know? No, I'm sure nobody does. We haven't seen them for so long. In fact, we haven't seen her with the rest of the clan for so long. It's almost impossible to tell where she would fit within the very strict hyena clan hierarchy. But you can see how the black part of the heads, or well, the black part of the head there, is completely spotted already. Of course, every time I stop seeing hyenas, I forget exactly what the timing is on their coat changes. Yes, I can definitely tell you for sure that I will be spending a lot of time around here over the coming weeks.